Hello and welcome back to another episode of Food Smarts, Food for Thought. My name is Aaron, I'm the Telemedicine Program Coordinator at Food Smarts, and today we are talking about water, or more specifically, the critical importance of proper hydration. There are a lot of reports online claiming that 75% of Americans are chronically dehydrated, and while that's not actually backed up by evidence in the peer-reviewed medical literature, I would not be surprised if that was true. We do know that somewhere between 17 and 28% of older adults in the United States are dehydrated, which is a frequent cause of hospital admissions, morbidity and mortality, and that it exacerbates many different medical conditions. The human body is nearly 60% water, which is used to support every major organ system and cellular process. Without enough of it, those systems quickly become dysregulated and begin to shut down. You can survive for weeks, even months, without food, but without water, you only get three to five days. Beyond survival, being properly hydrated comes with a long list of benefits, including weight loss, appetite suppression, increased metabolic rate, improved kidney function, and removal of waste through the urine and feces, and improved elasticity, tone, and moisture of your skin. The signs and symptoms of dehydration in adults include headache, confusion, dizziness, especially upon standing, fatigue, dark-colored urine, and constipation. The National Academy of Sciences recommends that women consume a minimum of 91 ounces of water a day, and that men try to get about 125 ounces. For reference, a Nalgene water bottle like this one is 32 ounces, so women would drink about three of these a day, and men would drink four. I'm gonna share with you some practical tips and tricks you can adopt now for staying hydrated throughout the day and taking advantage of the benefits that I mentioned earlier. Number one, drink a glass or two of water first thing in the morning. Remember that you haven't had a single sip of water all night and that you start each day in a dehydrated state. Drinking water before you do anything else primes the body to start digesting food helps your kidneys filter and flush out the accumulated metabolic waste from the night, and will help get you on a regular bowel protocol. It also sets the intention for adequate hydration for the rest of your day, which is important. Number two, buy a 32 ounce water bottle like this one and take it with you everywhere you go. The mere presence of a water bottle is often enough to remind you to keep drinking. You could set it on your work desk, take it with you in the car, have it at the gym, or put it in your bedroom. And you might find that a 32 ounce water bottle makes it easy to keep track of how much water you need to drink each day. So instead of counting up the ounces, you can just count the number of, a number of bottles you've had, which keeps the math really simple. Number three, use the color of your urine as the primary indicator of hydration status. So it's easy to focus on a specific quantity of water each day, but the reality is that everyone's needs are a little different and can change depending on a variety of factors like altitude, ambient temperature, and activity level. So try to keep your urine light yellow to clear throughout the day and adjust your water intake accordingly. Dark colored, concentrated, and smelly urine is often an indicator of dehydration. Number four, make your water more appealing. Many people find water to be quite boring, but uh, there are many ways to change that. Try adding fresh squeezed lemon or lime. Uh, carbonated water is all the rage right now, so if you haven't yet, try one of the many brands on the market like LaCroix, Bubbly, or Spindrift. Those are especially refreshing during the hot summer months. Number five, eat more water-rich foods. About 20% of our daily water intake comes from our food, particularly fruits and vegetables. If you have access, great options for staying hydrated are oranges, grapes, watermelon, celery, tomatoes, and zucchini. Number six, set reminders to drink throughout the day. It's easy to get distracted and forget to drink water. As a nurse, I really struggled with that when I worked in the hospital. In fact, some days I would finish a 12-hour shift and realize I hadn't taken a single sip of water because I was so busy. So I started setting reminders and it changed the game for me. You could use your watch, your phone, computer, sticky notes, friends, colleagues, 
whatever you have to do to alert yourself at regular intervals that it's time to pause and drink water. Before we wrap up, a quick word of caution. There is such a thing as drinking too much water and it can be very dangerous. So please stick to the recommendations above and talk with your healthcare provider if you have any conditions that require you to be mindful about fluid intake like congestive heart failure or advanced kidney disease. Thanks for watching Food Smarts Food for Thought and please let us know if there are any other lifestyle or nutrition related topics you would like us to cover. And we'll see you next time.